Do you have a rocket like this one here where the paint finish is less than optimal and you want to restore it to something that's showroom new again? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. It's taken a long time, but we finally got the white and the green paint on, and I peeled off the masking tape. I've allowed my green paint plenty of time to harden and dry. Next is the silver paint, and we have to do silver leading edge here, and I've left some space here to paint that silver. The whole body tube is going to be silver up until about right here, and then from here on back, it's going to be all, um, it's already painted. Um, now the, the back end was already pre-painted, um, so I don't have to paint that, but um, so I'm not gonna worry about it. When I, when I was painting everything else, I was masking it off. I just took another BT60 body tube and I just put it over the edge and put some tape over the edges, and that's what um, kept the overspray from going in there. So that worked out really well. Um, so now, for this line here, this is the critical line. Um, and I'm looking on my instructions right here. And I have the line, um, it's in front of the fins. Um, and then there's a black de or a, a green decal that goes over it. Um, so it, my line doesn't have to be perfect uh, because that decal can cover up anything that's like um, any rough edges or um, if the line is not perfectly straight. But to make the, the line straight, what I've gone and done is I've taken a piece of, uh, little, this is a little bit thicker than regular paper, um, and I cut a strip, and I got one straight edge, as you can see. And I'm gonna take that, and I wanna position it where I want my line to be. So I want my line to be like right about there. Uh, I'm gonna take one edge, this edge right here, and I'm gonna bring it all the way up here. And I think I'll get a piece of tape so I can tape that spot in place so it doesn't move around on me. All right, so I want it like right about there. And I want to make sure that that corner is nice and tight up against that. looking straight down here where this corner and this corner are to make sure that they're aligned and then I'm going to press my fingernail right up in there to, to crease it really tight. So now that I know it's aligned I'm going to tape it down so it doesn't go anywhere. I got a little bit hanging over the edge here, so I'll back that off a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to gently draw a line on my, my paint here. And this is the line I'm going to use to, um, to mask off that line. So everything on the back is going to stay white and everything in front of it going to be slower. And as I always say, always use a pencil, never ink, because the solvents in the paint can dissolve the ink and the ink will float up to the surface and then you, then you got another mess. And we want to avoid that, so we're always going to use pencil. Side of the line. So I'm going to 
show you how to do this. Okay, so I'm going to take the tape and I'm going to start kind of right in the middle. I'm going to go towards this edge. Burnish that down there in the corner and then any overlap. You know, I, I always take the tape and I fold it over itself so that when it's time to peel it off, this pops up nice and easy and then take the tape off really fast. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on this side. down that edge so that the paint doesn't wick underneath there. Although this one's not so critical because it's half hidden with a decal and my decal is actually going to go over the top of it so it's not too critical but you know, it's always good practice to do it right. Okay, and then um, I'm going to start masking off everything else. And, you know, just, just use your paint lines as the guide. So right now I'm going to do along the green because this has to be masked off. So that's the process. I'm gonna, it's going to take me a while to mask it all off, and then uh, then the silver goes on, and then we're in the home stretch. 